We live in a digital age, fast, always on. Our lives are intertwined with technology, making it an integral part of our daily routines. We rely on online banking for everything, paying bills, transferring money, managing our finances. It's convenient, it's essential, it's become our lifeline. From checking account balances to making investments, the digital world simplifies our financial lives. But what happens when that lifeline is cut? When the seamless flow of digital transactions is interrupted? What happens when the systems we depend on falter and fail? The frustration and anxiety that follow can be overwhelming. This isn't a hypothetical question. It's a scenario that many have faced, and it brings to light the vulnerabilities in our digital infrastructure. It's a reality that recently unfolded for countless customers of Zenith Bank, one of Nigeria's leading financial institutions. The bank, known for its robust services, faced an unexpected challenge. Customers were met with unexpected service disruptions. Transactions that were once instant became impossible. Frustration mounted as they found themselves locked out of their accounts, unable to complete transactions, left in the lurch. The trust in the digital system was shaken. The bank's digital infrastructure had stumbled and the repercussions were felt far and wide. The incident served as a stark reminder of our dependence on technology and the need for resilient systems. Zenith Bank had announced a scheduled maintenance window, a necessary evil, they claimed, to upgrade their systems, enhance security, improve services. Customers were notified in advance through emails, text messages, social media posts, they were told to expect some downtime, a temporary inconvenience for long-term gain. But the scheduled maintenance window came and went. The disruption lingered. Hours turned into days. The initial inconvenience morphed into a major headache. Customers were left fuming. Their patience wore thin. Social media became a sounding board for their grievances. This is unacceptable, raged a customer on Twitter, his words echoing the sentiments of many. I've been trying to pay my rent all day, but the system keeps crashing. Another shared her plight. I'm stranded abroad, and I can't access my funds. Zenith Bank, what's going on? Stories of missed payments, missed opportunities, and mounting anxiety flooded social media. Small business owners lamented their inability to process transactions, costing them valuable revenue. Salaries were delayed, bills went unpaid, and the frustration was palpable. The impact of Zenith Bank's service disruption extended far beyond individual customers. It sent ripples through the Nigerian economy, highlighting the critical role of reliable banking infrastructure. Businesses, both large and small, depend on seamless financial transactions. When those transactions are disrupted, the consequences can be severe. The prolonged downtime served as a stark reminder of our vulnerability in the digital age. It exposed the fragility of the systems we rely on and the far-reaching consequences of their failure. Section 5 a breakdown in communication. Adding insult to injury was Zenith Bank's initial silence on the matter. Hours turned into days, and still, there was no official explanation for the prolonged outage. Rumors and speculation filled the void, further fueling customer anxiety. When the bank finally broke their silence, their communication was marred by a lack of transparency and empathy. Vague apologies did little to appease frustrated customers who demanded answers and accountability. Section 6. The Human Cost of Downtime 
Behind the tweets and the headlines, there were real people whose lives were upended by Zenith Bank's service disruptions. Take, for instance, Mrs. Adiola, a single mother who relies on her mobile banking app to manage her finances. With the app down, she was unable to buy groceries for her children or pay her electricity bill. Or consider Mr. Emeka, a young entrepreneur whose business came to a standstill when he couldn't process payments from his clients. Every hour of downtime translated into lost revenue and mounting stress. Section 7. Averting Future Failures The Zenith Bank debacle serves as a cautionary tale for the entire banking industry. It underscores the critical importance of robust infrastructure, rigorous testing and comprehensive contingency plans. Banks must invest heavily in ensuring the resilience of their systems and their ability to withstand unforeseen challenges. Equally crucial is the need for clear, timely and empathetic communication. When outages occur, banks must be transparent with their customers, providing regular updates and acknowledging the inconvenience caused. Section 8. Restoring Trust. Rebuilding Confidence. In the aftermath of the service disruption, Zenith Bank faced the daunting task of regaining the trust of its customers. The disruption had caused significant inconvenience, leaving many customers frustrated and anxious about the security of their finances. Regaining trust requires more than just fixing the technical issues. It involves a comprehensive approach that addresses both the immediate concerns and the underlying problems that led to the disruption. It demands a fundamental shift in mindset, one that prioritizes customer experience and acknowledges the impact of service disruptions on their lives. This means understanding the emotional and financial stress that such incidents cause and taking steps to mitigate them. The bank must go beyond generic apologies and demonstrate a genuine commitment to addressing the root causes of the outage. This involves not only saying the right words, but also taking concrete actions that reassure customers of their dedication to improvement. This includes conducting a thorough investigation, implementing preventive measures, and ensuring that such disruptions do not occur in the future. The bank must also invest in upgrading its infrastructure and training its staff to handle crises more effectively communicating their findings to the public in a transparent manner is crucial. Transparency builds credibility and by openly sharing the steps they are taking, Zenith Bank can begin to rebuild the confidence of its customers. Regular updates and clear communication channels will be key in this process. Section 9. A call for customer-centric banking. The Zenith Bank incident is a wake-up call, not just for the bank itself, but for the entire financial industry. It highlights the urgent need for a shift in focus towards the customers who are the backbone of any financial institution. In today's digital age, where customers rely heavily on online and mobile banking services, even a brief disruption can have significant consequences. Customers expect seamless, uninterrupted access to their financial services and any failure to provide this can lead to frustration and loss of trust. It's time for banks to prioritise customer centricity in all aspects of their operations. This involves not just improving the customer service experience but also rethinking the entire banking process from the customer's perspective. This means investing in robust infrastructure, ensuring that systems are reliable and can handle high volumes of 